Hey guys, um, back with another YouTube video. As you can tell from the uh, title, it's another overview of, uh, of a new knife I just got the other day, two days ago. Got this knife on Instagram. Um, just saw a post on it, much like the Curtis F3 here, and jumped on the chance to get one. Uh, been looking for this knife, but they're really, really hard to find. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, or if you've read the title, you know what the knife is. Um, let me grab it right over here. It is the JBB Knives Alpha Hunter Collaboration, the Predator, made by Brad himself, Brad Blunt. Um, yeah, it's got this uh, modified Warncliffe blade with a pretty good belly on there. It's actually really, really useful. It's kind of like the uh, Sebenza Insigno, Insigno version. Basically, it's got full titanium handles, N690 steel, uh, titanium pocket clip, but look how thick and stocky that is. It's a beast of a knife. Uh, it's riding on some uh, caged ball bearings, so it flips super smooth. It's not the smoothest knife I own, mainly due to the uh, really dark acid etch, but it still flips out like a dream. You can do a push button method. You can also do the light switch method. Now, you can see here the custom texturing that Brad's put on here. It's kind of like has this cross stitch pattern. Um, not sure how he did it. Apparently, it's it's he's told some of the guys at Blade how he did it. Unfortunately, I wasn't there, so um, I'm just gonna say he used magic because there's if you look at this, just look how crazy that looks. Looks like he just took a pick and just individually etched it out himself, but. <laughs> Typically, his uh, normal handle, if you look at his surge or the fuse, is just an acid stone wash blade. This one has the uh, cross stitch pattern, but it also he also made the flat satin, so it's got this two tone high contrast uh, look to it. Now, when I first saw images of it, I wasn't too sure because I I really liked his two tone blade where it was satin on the bevel and it was uh, acid etched on the flats. But after seeing this knife uh, and handling it and playing around with it, you kind of get to appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into it and the little nuances like, basically this knife doesn't stay the same shade of gray or silver throughout the day. Uh, depending if I'm in my car or I'm out in daylight, it changes colors. Um, and that's all due to the light that the satin parts reflect and also the light that the uh, milled out parts or scratched off parts re uh, reflect back. Uh, it's a gorgeous knife. It looks a little weird at first, but when you get it in your hands, it just melts in there. Um, if you saw my Cold Steel Code 4 video, this is pretty smooth. As rough as this looks, you can't feel, feel the texture. And it's a smooth knife, but because of the ergonomics, because of like the, the two finger grooves on here, where thankfully my fingers fall right into place, he's got this uh, thumb ramp, I guess you can call it, but if I just lightly grab onto it, you cannot pull this out of my hands, unlike the Code 4, which I was able to remove. Uh, the great thing about this knife also, when it comes to ergos, is the grip options. Uh, standard grip, it's pretty comfortable. If you got, I always like it when they give you this option. Um, but you also have a finger choil up here, so you can hold it up, or you can even choke up even more through this pretty aggressive gear pattern jimping to kind of push down, have a little bit more control on the blade. So you have this, you have that guy, you have this grip, but 
you can also what I found is the two fingers go into the back groove here and your pinky actually rests up on the jimping on here too so it gives you a little bit more of a reach on there reverse grip just as comfortable look at this action I I mean I haven't stopped flipping it since I got it um, if you follow me on Instagram uh, you'll see a little bit more macro shots more producty shots more glamour shots on this knife but just look how freaking gorgeous this is look how clean these lines are going from the butt of the knife up to the blade straight through one thing I noticed is that when I grip it up here you can't tell that there is a seam in there and that's that's another great thing about this knife is that Brad's fit and finish is amazing um, comes down to blade centering to lock up to to uh, the actual lock lock up it's it's amazing look how early this lockup is it's about maybe five ten percent and this knife is the most solid knife I have um, it I cannot muscle blade plate into this at all check out that centering here too check out my Instagram guys I have some really close-up pictures of this and look how even that is all the way down super smooth let's do a little size comparison here move these off so I'd give you guys some specs but to be honest it's kind of tough finding the specs for this guy uh, it does look like it has a three and a half inch blade cutting edge wise uh, here's my Curtis F3 with a three and a half inch blade you can see here pivot to pivot they're pretty close but this does have uh, a much longer finger choil on there so if I were to size up cutting edges they pretty much line up um, I'd, I'd put in my Sebenza here but I actually sent it out to back to CRK to do some refurbishment just to it's got some scratches on the blades scratches on the titanium here's my big boy the browse blade division flipper can barely fit in the screen here but you can kinda see this one is a little too big to carry um, it's in my collection I use it around the house it's it's a great slicer uh, but it is a little too big to carry every day with me so it stays in the house I still love it smoothest flipper by far oh, so great <laughs> um, the smoothness could be somewhat compared to the ZT560 they're both riding on a uh, cage bearing system so there it is with that you can kinda see here how the ZT560 is a little bit bigger but this does have a 3.75 inch blade just look how freaking gorgeous this is I, I that's the thing I can't stop looking at it who would have thought that gray on gray on gray on gray would be this sexy but it is and freaking Brad and Alpha Hunter tactical design you guys knocked it out of the park uh, I believe the last one of these or last one for a while just sold to nice guy Nick on the USN forums congratulations buddy his actually has is Brad's one off his personal predator and it has uh, the new po a new pocket clip on there and just melts this the pocket clip here is still acid washed which uh, which I kinda like this pocket clip actually grew on me when I first saw it in pictures I didn't think it would be that strong uh, but this freaking thing is one solid piece of titanium and I actually like it I like the contrast that it has but that pocket clip that nice guy Nick won uh, it's 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 out of this world it looks like it's it camouflages so well it just blends in just check it out check out the auction on USN guys it's it's amazing um, that's pretty much it
hit the 10 minute mark. I just want to say thank you, Brad. Thank you. Uh, good climbing for the opportunity to buy this knife from you. This is amazing. This is one of my favorite knives. Uh, it's pretty much kicked everything out, just like all my new knives, but uh, it it's a hell of a knife if, if it was able to kick this guy out of my pocket. Because <laughs> this guy was pretty much I fell in love with when I first had it. Carried it for a week, had no complaints, did everything I needed it to do. And this guy came along and kicked him out. 